Hey everyone, I'm going to give just a few minutes for people to get on here. I don't want my feet on this acupressure mat. No. 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 Hey McKenna, get back. I am just giving a few minutes for people to join. Hey, Heather. I'm gonna scoot this a little closer. My date is now my state. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're shut down. Um, I, I don't, I think I told you guys this. I'm in the New York, like, area and it is pretty crazy. We're like tripling our cases by the day. Um, so since most people voted for mindset and tapping stuff, I am going, we're going to do a tapping today. Um, but if there's anything that you guys need to like talk about or get out, um, send that to me and we can try to, you know, tap some of that in the tapping session. Um, if you're not familiar with tapping, it is a form of meditation. If you're one of those people that tend to get distracted meditating or just find it really hard to focus on just relaxing and things like that, this kind of helps keep you busy. Um, and I'll show you the points for tapping briefly. Um, but it's like, it's similar to acupressure just without the needles. We're tapping on acupressure points and the body meridian points and it will help release the blocked energy and also just get rid of some of those thoughts if you start crying or yawning or if you see me yawning that it's totally normal it's kind of our body's way of just letting things go um i like to have like a diffuser going or a candle sometimes i put my crystals out um you can't really see them because i wanted to move it closer um, for you guys so I can read the comments as they come in but I wanted to just tap on the chaos that's going on and how we can just distract ourselves from it and stay in a more calm state of mind um, we're all going to be able to handle this and do what we need in our own way of course um, which is totally normal and that's fine but um, definitely give it a try. I will say that it took me about three months to really like get into a good flow and notice like a big change um, with my mindset and things like that. So it doesn't, some people find it to be like, oh my gosh, this was life changing on the first time. Um, but sometimes you have to revisit them and continue to tap. Um, always have water because we're going through a lot of things um, and it's good to, we're releasing stuff so it's good to rehydrate. And I'm going to show you the points. Um, the main point is on your karate chop point, which is like at the side of your, along your pinky here in the palm of your hand. Um, this point is like a very powerful point. If all you can do is reach this point, that's totally fine. Um, you can just tap on this the entire time and you don't have to follow all of the other moves. Um, some days my shoulders can't get to the top of my head, so I do the karate chop point. Um, then the next step would be on the head, just tapping on the head. I like to alternate it just I feel like it does better. Um, the next point is on the third eye right at the start of your eyebrows and you'll just alternate tapping there. After that you'll go to the temples and tap right under the eyes on that eye bone. Then directly under the nose between the upper lip and nose. And then right on the little dip in your chin, between your bottom lip and your chin. Then your collarbone, about an inch down from your collarbone, you'll just tap. And we're not like tapping super hard or anything like that. Um, just tap lightly. The next point is right where your bra strap would be. You'll just tap on that point there. And then the last one will be our wrists. And you just tap your wrists together like this. Um, We'll go through a few sequences and it'll always start back at the top of the head after the initial, um, after the first start. I um, am going to move this. I've been doing acupressure mats all day. Um, so 
I'm done sitting on it. Um, so let's get started. We're just going to tap on the chaos that's going on and just how we can deal with this. All right. There's so much chaos going on in the world. There's so much chaos going on in my household. I'm just not sure exactly what to do about the chaos that's going on, but I love and accept and forgive myself anyway. All right. With all this chaos going on, it's hard to focus on the good. It's hard to get past the media. It's hard to see everyone talking about it on social media. And it's really hard dealing with everybody talking about it in my house or my friends around me. It's just, I don't want to focus on it all the time. I want to be aware of what's going on around me. But I don't want to let it consume me. And some days I feel like it can be very consuming. And that's okay, we're all human. When I'm starting to get consumed by the chaos, I choose to distance myself. I choose to find a healthy distraction And I choose to just have fun with those around me. I know that it's hard to do this constantly. And that's okay. No one can do anything perfect every time. We are allowed to process this how we need but I know it's not healthy to let it consume my thoughts. And I choose to release the worry and the fear around the chaos. And focus on something else, anything. Maybe I'll write a book. Maybe I'll start that online business I always wanted to. Maybe I'll just get in a good self-care routine. Or maybe I'll just rest my body because that's what it needs. Whatever I decide to do, I know that it's for my highest good. And when I do things for my highest good, it's easier to block out all of the negative. When so many things are coming out that's negative, I choose to stay knowledgeable, but focus on more positive things. I will love and forgive and accept myself. If I have moments where I get consumed by the chaos, It's totally normal in something like this. And 
I can process this however I feel I need to. So from this point forward, I choose to focus on things that bring me joy during the chaos. All right, now take a deep breath in and hold it at the top. And let it go. All right, so you'll definitely want to drink some water. You may need to tap on through it again. And for anything that comes up, any emotions, that's totally normal. Let yourself process them how you need to. Nobody should be telling you how to handle this. Um, but if you want to go um, for a more calmer approach, then that's totally fine and normal. And that's just the way that you choose to do this. Um, but we're not perfect. Um, I can let my family let me get consumed by what's going on. Um, they're doctors, so they're very informed with what's going on right now. And I just have to know that I'm not going to check that group until like a certain time or just like one or two times a day, um, especially if I see that that's the topic of conversation. So um, don't feel afraid to ask people to talk to you about certain things at a later date. That's totally like fine or just at a certain time, like at the end of the day. Um, don't feel any shame in doing that. Just do ha process this how you need to, and but also know that others are going to process things differently and that that's okay for them as well. But I hope you enjoyed this tapping. I'll be posting it in IGTV, um, so you can catch it there. But have a good day.